best season ever by a tight end. Where is this stack up? <laughs> uh, right up there, Derby? It was a lot of fun. I mean, had a blast. Um, so many people out here. It was an unbelievable turnout uh, in the Buffalo area. Uh, 17,000 plus people here. It was definitely a little nerve wracking going out there. My heart was beating fast. It kind of like, kind of felt like playing a football game going out there with the nerves. And you're not really used to swinging at all. So it was a lot of fun. You know, the great guys from now, Tim Kelly, uh, meeting Fred Jackson, Pat Flatta, so many great guys, and uh, seeing a lot of the AAA players too. I mean, uh, they're in they're, they're bounds. I've never seen a whole run like that ever before. So just had a blast coming out. Uh, proud to be from Buffalo, obviously, and uh, love coming back and seeing everyone. And uh, it's a great town. And, uh, just had a blast coming out. How interesting to be a guy from Buffalo with Buffalo Group, playing for the Arch Enemy and Patriots. And what, what was your expectation on crowd reaction? I mean, you didn't get a lot of booze, but what was your expectation? <laughs> My friend and I were wondering what we were going to get. But we saw it. We, we, we saw the mix. Uh, a couple of cheers and a couple of booze, but I mean, I heard the booze, but I think the cheers are a little bit louder than the booze, so I mean, there's a little mixture, but I mean, part of it, and it's pretty fun. How good of a baseball player were you? I was alright. I mean, when I was in the Little League, probably years old and under, I was unstoppable, but when the kids got more and more, and I was getting a little bit older, and I started getting a little bit more Where size really does help. I mean, you know, you talk guys up there who are more normal size guys, who weren't even come close to the outfit, the real outfit friends, you're reaching. I mean, it's like it's coming in handy for you. Uh, size definitely does come in handy. I mean, obviously, uh, you get more power and stuff, but I mean, some of the AAA players, I mean, some of them weren't even that big and they were, they were hitting bombs over the wall, so, but uh, guy one was unbelievable. He's a big dude. Size definitely, I mean, plays a part of that, but it's all if you have it, I would say, if you have it or not in baseball, it's, it's, it's so difficult to see the ball. You guys have so much credit going out there and getting that contact and putting it over the wall, no matter how big you are. So it's a great talent. Did you enjoy the food that I talked to you, Uh No, I didn't, but I wasn't really worried about it. There. I saw that. I heard it from a couple guys that he did that, and uh, that's pretty funny. So I'm following him back. He's a, he's a cool guy, and uh, I'm glad I got to meet him. Rob, uh, this is more of a Buffalo question than a football question. Bills, a lot of the excitement around the team right now. Patriots have had their number. What's your personal feeling about the Bills becoming competitive again? 
would you, does it get you that much more excited when it's your hometown team has gotten some buzz, or would you rather them remain easier than a beautiful team? Uh, the Bills are always competitive, and just like any other team in the NFL, it doesn't even matter if you're 0-16 or if you're 16 and up. You're going out there and you're playing versus NFL guys. They're all big, they're all fast, they're all strong, and so you got to be ready every single week. So the Bills are competitive. I, they've been super competitive every single time I played them. I'm not, I'm not expecting anything uh, less uh, this year. What about? We're going to keep this for the Derby over, okay? This is this is this is about the Derby. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I want to get on the next half of here. Any other Derby questions tonight for Rob? Great. Thanks, Rob. All right. No problem. All right.